Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run on Strange Terrain. We're doing it on the Titan, bottom tree of the the Striker subclass, the Code of the Juggernaut. I'm running Midnight Coup, uh, Twilight Oath, and Thunderlord. Syntheseps is my exotic piece of armor. Obviously, they really complement the bottom tree of the Striker. We are running Heavyweight, Momentum, Extinguish, and Arc Singe, which gives us a 5 five score multiplier because we've took 110 power handicap and that's the setup for this for anybody that didn't watch the paramedium run you should check it out uh, the paramedium run i done last week was really good uh, but it really shows off more than this video i would say it really shows off what the titan's capable of with this super but the other reason i use the super is obviously melee kills give you your health back which is good uh has a chance to regenerate its melee upon hit and the syntheseps increase melee damage so but shoulder charge which you get in the striker uh super it's a melee so the more you do it you know you get this biometrics there you go biometric enhancements that comes up to tell you that you're going to do more damage with your 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 melee, which is always really cool. Uh, but the the thing, the reason why these are so strong now is because the melee, the shoulder charge within this this super, only only takes ten percent, just about I think it's ten percent of your super to use it, which is is nothing compared to what it used to. But the, the the part of the subclass trample it gives you super back on, on kills. So in a kind of ad heavy environment, as long as you're constantly shoulder charging, you will never run out of super. You know. So it's 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 really good. It's not an area of effect, it really is a, a singular kind of attack. So you're not gonna do a shoulder charge and kill more than one really. So you, you kind of just have to be aware of your surroundings, know where the next enemy is, all that type of thing. The other thing is, uh, I will get it out of the way right now, make sure you're keeping an eye on your heavy. Switch weapons, get kills with other types of weapons, don't just rely on your heavy because sooner or later you're not going to have any heavy. And it drops more often. The Thunder Lord actually has that uh, lightning rounds where it creates bolts of lightning on kills. The lightning, if you get kills with the lightning rounds, it can drop heavy ammo because it's not classed as, it just can't be classed as a heavy kill. And although Bungie have said it's working as intended, there really needs to be a better discussion about heavy ammo finder. I've actually found upon doing just a bit, not much, but a bit of investigation that the more heavy ammo finders you've got on, the less heavy ammo you drop. And I've tried it a number of times. I've had three heavy ammo finders on and dropped literally none. Took two of them off and started dropping it. But there there are times, regardless, where you just don't drop heavy. So as you've seen, we're just working my way through. I'm trying to keep an eye on the heavy. Uh, I've, I put on, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the reasoning behind the sniper. Put on, with if you're following what I'm doing, this is what you're using, which if you're watching this video, you might just be watching it to see what it looks like. You might have no intentions of actually doing this nightfall. But if you do, you can equip any other weapon you want. I'm using the Twilight Oath simply because this was my, I think this is my third attempt at doing this. And when I say my third attempt, it was my third time completing it. And the first two, I had Match Game on. Solar, so the only other shield really you're going to deal with here is solar. So you can put whatever you feel comfortable using. I felt comfortable using the sniper. Uh, you know, but once I took match game off, I could have done everything, all the kind of shield with 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 the Thunderlord. As long as I kept an eye on my, my heavy. Which you will see here. I, the game more often than not... If you've got no heavy and you, you kill a consistent amount of enemies, 
not using your heavy, the game, more often than not, will start to give you heavy. It's not, it's not a, you know, it's not, yep, just burn your heavy and then the game will start giving you it. But it just seems to be if you're switching weapons, and sometimes, and it's just, it's kind of weird because none of this stuff happens all the time, but every now and again, it's like, oh, I see. If you're getting killed by a primary and you're like, no heavy's dropping, switch weapons. Get kills with your energy. If that's not working, get kills with your abilities. So I know I've got a heavy brick there. You know, we're just gonna try and get the lightning rounds to the just mops all those up. And that's a lot of points for, for thrall. I mean I know there's a lot of thrall there. But this next part, the ogre, is really the only kind of the only uh strategy apart from the boss that's needed to be spoke about the rest of it is and it, and it probably rings true for a lot of nightfalls make sure you don't push into areas you can't defend you know i am very much control your environment that's kind of the way i like to play i'm not one of these people who will run through things and hope i don't die i like repeat repeatability that is what I like. I like something to be repeatable. So, this is my first strategy here. You're going to have a wanted wizard. And we've got shriekers here. So, I'm going to take out... I can only take out one of those. But then we're going to break her shield. And we're going to go after the wanted. Now, it's good for points. But it's also good for traversing this area. Because you don't have a wizard shooting arc at you. And we, have, we do have arc singe on. Now, we're going to try and take down some of these these knights. So we got we, we got one of them down pretty low and we killed one. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over here. The melee's really good as you can see. If you get your melee back, you get the biometrics, it's kinda strange. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna profess to know exactly how the biometrics work, because sometimes it seems like I get my melee even when it's saying I don't have a charged melee. So Kind of strange. Like there. I didn't have a charged melee, but it, it gave me the melee effect. So we we've took we've we've took took out one knight, we've thrown the orb, the other knight was really low, so we're gonna grab this. And where we are now, the the ogre will push over at you. If you go if if you get in that position, if you get caught out, just back up against this wall. He can't hit you. But what I'm gonna do is just now I wish I hadn't have done it, but it did, because you, you basically can't be killed when you're in this super. I mean, I don't know how much shield you get, but it's it's insane. You know, I'm running about, I'm being hit constantly, you know, but I, I've done it to get, get a little bit more score, and as you can see, I've, I got myself into a situation here, I could have died there. So now we're just using the Thunder Lord just to clear up a few of those. This knight is, he, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna go down with the Thunder Lord pretty easily. But I'm uh, honestly, I wouldn't do that. I'd never do that. And now we know we're gonna get, a, we are gonna get a third knight because this has been down here for a while. So we're gonna get into position once I once I take the knights down and I'm happy with my position. I'm happy with everything that's going on. This is where I'm always gonna attack the ogre from. It's the best place to attack the ogre. Now, you will see, unlike other times, normally I just melt this ogre. But we're looking for a little bit of score to see how much more this gives us. And having done it, it's also about heavy. Having done it, it it's kind of pointless. It wasn't worth it. So I would suggest just to, to melt the ogre. And he just managed to get out before he was killed. So we got a hundred and odd rounds. And there was nothing, no other heavy ammo drop. We got a hundred and eight rounds. We're going to drop, go down to the boss now. So by now, I've done strange terrain videos before. You guys know there's three waves of damage. The Nocris goes into a different stage each time. The first time is just static. Second time he's static but fires at you. 
Third time, he's a Roman boss who will chase after you and fire. Second wave, you get two wizards. As long as you the wizards are up, I always try and kill one. As long as the second wizard is up, you won't have to deal with the knight. So you can actually use that to your advantage. Uh, you can make sure you you clear all the ads before you actually uh, before you actually go after you know the, the the knights. You can be in a good place, a good position, and make sure that. I don't know why I seen I seen I had heavy I've, you know I've got heavy ammo there I don't know why I'm still shooting at this guy with anything but a heavy, but it worked because he dropped heavy. So what we're gonna do is this where we're gonna go up here now. Nocris is gonna come out. This is where we're gonna attack Nocris each time. And if you do it like I'm doing it now, so we'll just go round, get this heavy ammo. If you attack from here, and you'll see what I'm gonna do. I'll kill the knights, I'll throw one orb, I'll get the second orb, and I'll take it up behind that rock. If you're going for an extreme for for a really high score, then you don't need to do that. If you're going for a high score, you do really high. If you're not, if you're wanting, you know, two hundred thousand, you don't have to do what you know, you don't have to get the melt on straight away. Because you want the the, the ads that, that are gonna come out with with him. Because he will he'll bring out ads. But if you if you don't want those ads, you're happy with a hundred thousand, that's what you came in for. Uh even for normal nightfall runs. I'll leave this open to you guys. You, you, you know, I've got I've done a high score run on every nightfall. Bar the insight terminus. But uh just a little fun fact. I actually done a solo insight terminus, but I wasn't happy with it. It just wasn't for me. It was one of those runs I didn't think it was repeatable. And if it's if if it's not repeatable, I won't put it up. So I actually have done one. I think I've still got it saved. I just never put it up. So we'll try and get a different one done next time it's in. I've done high score and high score runs on every nightfall. Are you guys still wanting to see high score runs each week or would you guys just like to see quick ways to do the nightfall is there any content you guys have got in mind that you haven't put on the channel that you'd like to see let me know in the comments it's always appreciated so as you can see what we've done is grab this lat the throw the first orb grab the second orb and then bring the second orb up here and because we're up here already we can attack Nolcris from 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 relative cover you will get two snipers up there but if you use the rock the snipers won't be won't be an issue so second wave there's our first wizard wizard's gone you have to watch out for the second wizard and now Norcross is shooting at you so use this rock this big rock here as your cover you just have to stay aware make sure as you can see the ads will try and encroach behind you Keeping one wizard up means that you're not going to be dealing with... If you take both wizards out, then you're going to have knights to deal with as well as adds. So you want to get rid of we want to get rid of all the adds before you attack the wizard. So I'm pretty confident now all the adds are down. We take the wizard, and now we're going to get knights. So we can, we're right here, we're in cover, we can melt this knight... Go and grab, go and grab the the orb, reload, and for some strange reason, I got a third, a third knight, and that that threw me off a little bit because I had the what I was gonna do, I had it all set, and then a third knight appears, so. We just we killed the the knight, but as you can see, it just threw me off. I never reloaded. It was just a bad time, and we ended up getting that extra wave of ads. So it can happen. It can happen. Happens to us all. Happens to the best of us. Not that I'm the best of us, but it, it happens to the best of us. So. 
third wave, Nolcross is now going to start moving. You've got your super. And this is why I've kept the super till now. Because the super is your your get out of jail free card if Norcross becomes a little bit too aggressive. Now you'll see he'll come right up here. I don't really like it when he gets too close because he's he does a lot of damage. He does a lot of splash damage. So I always go the complete opposite way. I don't try and run underneath him. I have done it, but it's you, you know you're taking your life in your own hands by doing it. So once once I know knights are out, you know we know then can't spend too long on on the ads because the knights are out. So we've melted one. We'll take that with us. We'll get it thrown at one of the one of the crystals, and then. Once you pop your super in this room, as you can see, you're getting hit. And every melee kill will give you a health back. Every shoulder charge kill will give you a health back. So you can go around, clear up all the adds to your heart's content. We'll reload, we're good. He will push over to us, and that, which is what we want. And... Now we're getting another knight, which is fine. Throw the crystal. The other knight will disappear because the two crystals have gone. Get the melt on. And that, that's the run, guys. And there we go. 177,000. 177,125 was that. And that's the run. That is Strange Terrain. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've just done a Savathun run on a, on the Titan, uh, and it's a flawless run. So I was quite happy to get through a Savathun without dying at the Double Shriekers. I'll get that up straight after this. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys, and I will speak to you in the next video.